While the nomination of Dr. Willy Mutunga and Nancy Baraza as the Chief Justice and Deputy Chief Justice respectively has not gone down well with the clergy and some politicians, it seems the two nominees have received the seal of approval from the public. The poll conducted by Infotruck between the 23rd and the 27th of last month among 2,400 respondents returned the verdict that more than 78% of Kenyans approved the two to head the judiciary and had faith that they would deliver. Almost 9 in 10 Kenyans believe that, you know, uh, these two uh, nominees will actually bring, you know, changes uh, and rejuvenate the judiciary, whilst 11% didn't think so. Many have hailed their competencies, track records and the manner in which the nominations were done and believe the two will be incorruptible. The few opposing numbers point to the current debate on the character of the two as a drawback to their ability to perform and also say that it may be difficult to reform the judiciary even after the two take over. Majority of Kenyans have also hailed the nomination procedure employed by the JSC and want future holders of public offices to be taken through the same paces as this was likely to enhance transparency and eliminate corruption. However, others think it was a bit too intimidating. Uh, whilst 4% uh, just thought, you know, this thing should be done in private. Interviews should ordinarily of that, you know, stature be done in private. Baraza and Mutunga are expected to be vetted by the Commission on the implementation of the new constitution next week before final approval or rejection by Parliament. The poll also showed that majority of Kenyans, 53% of them, would like the judges of the Supreme Court to come from outside the judiciary. However, very close percentage, 47%, felt that current sitting judges should make up the Supreme Court. So it was almost, you know, half and half. Already, the JSC has shortlisted 26 people for the six slots. 17 are judges of the Court of Appeal and the High Court, while nine are legal practitioners, activists and from the academia. Andrew Ochieng, Citizen Weekend.